What closed the door of the minds and hearts of the religious leaders against heaven's light? Herod now invited the Magi to a private interview. A tempest of wrath and fear was raging in his heart, but he preserved a calm exterior and received the strangers courteously. He inquired at what time the star had appeared and professed to hail with joy the intimation of the birth of Christ. He bade his visitors search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. So saying, he dismissed them to go on their way to Bethlehem. The priests and elders of Jerusalem were not as ignorant concerning the birth of Christ as they pretended. The report of the angel's visit to the shepherds had been brought to Jerusalem, but the rabbis had treated it as unworthy of their notice. They themselves might have found Jesus and might have been ready to lead the Magi to his birthplace. But instead of this, the wise men came to call their attention to the birth of the Messiah. Where is he that is born King of the Jews, they said, for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Now pride and envy closed the door against the light. If the reports brought by the shepherds and the wise men were credited, they would place the priests and rabbis in a most unenviable position, disproving their claim to be the exponents of the truth of God. These learned teachers would not stoop to be instructed by those whom they teemed heathen. It could not be, they said, that God had passed them by to communicate with ignorant shepherds or uncircumcised Gentiles. They determined to show their contempt for the reports that were exciting King Herod and all Jerusalem. They would not even go to Bethlehem to see whether these things were so, and they led the people to regard the interest in Jesus as a fanatical excitement, 